What up, guys? So, it's been a while. I had a camera malfunction. I haven't had a camera in a while, but we got a chiller today. One of which I haven't seen before. Um, maintenance is telling me we got a circuit two evaporator ice alarm. So, let's see if we can't get in this control here. all will be able to see. Yeah, you probably can't. But anyways, let's get into our alarms. Uh, it's like no active alarms at this time. Let's go to alarm history. Got compressor overload. And that's compressor one. There's my evaporator. There it is, evaporator 2 ice alarm. So, it's like right now, my camera won't focus. That's stage one, that's stage two. I don't see a freaking diagram, but with an ice alarm, I don't know that we're gonna need one. Uh, just looking at it, it's kind of a pain because all of this is going to get into my condenser. Here's my condenser coil. I think you got some filters. Filters are clean. There's a see that good sign of oil right there. That's probably where my problem is going to lie. That's, uh, I believe that's stage two. This should be stage one. Um, let's get this panel off here and see what I can see inside. All right, so we got a pump running. Uh, all of my lines. This is going to be this side compressor, which I think is stage one. This should be stage two. Line goes across the back where we saw the oil. You see some ice on there. Uh, so I don't see anything else too out of the ordinary. Let's get on that side and check that condenser out. I got that paint off. Looks like we got a trail of oil going across. really see anything past here going up it all looks dry but down in this corner where we saw the oil let that sit for a few and see if we get any bubbles out of it Both my compressors cycled off at this point. I still didn't see any other alarms, so it's like it's satisfied. Let's move over here. There goes one of my compressors. I'm not sure if that was a bubble or not. You can see, I mean, it's probably 85 out here now. These fans should be cycling, they're not coming on. I'm sure it's running off of a pressure transducer or something back there. Oh yeah, there you go. How about that? There she is. And she's back right in, right in between this plate and that condenser. That is liquid 
coming out. So, not a whole lot of sense in me adding charge. Because it's on the high side, um, the instant coil is clean. I can see light through it. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get to that, but I wonder if there's a way. Where's my fans finally? They're not, they're not running full speed. Let's get my panels back on real quick. I got my back panel back on. You can see we're flashing. Stage hasn't kicked in, but I don't see anything abnormal over here at all. It's dry. Uh, all right, so I need to try to see if there's a way to lock this one out for the time being until we can figure out what we're going to do with that guy. You can see right on the outlet of my valve, starting to frost up. Up here, might have something down below. I haven't seen down below yet. I'd go down there and check. I might have a, a way to lock that out down there. I don't know what kind of control they got, but I'm gonna dig through that control and we'll go from there. Try to lock that stage out and let the other stage operate. See if that'll be enough. This one ain't doing very well, anyway. guessing it's lead lag and so one satisfies it starts with the other I'm not sure at this point simple enough basically got an enable disable screen uh, so compressor one is still enabled and compressor two disabled compressor one just started back up and you can hear them fans ramp pretty quick because it's got refrigerant in it so we're gonna leave it like that for right now um, basically that was it compressor enabling um, let's go down and see if that is going to work for them we're going to watch it for a little while make sure temperature stays where they need it I'm not sure exactly what's happening underneath of me um, I, I need to go down and check to see what kind of process they're running and what kind of temperature they're looking for but uh, it seemed like it was trying to run with just a single stage and uh and it was doing all right. It would run that second stage for a little while, and then first stage would kick in, drop temperature, it would cycle off. And so it might be all right until we can get a condenser coil or get all my crap up here and see if it's, you're gonna have to cut the coil out and try to get in there, and you're asking for trouble. The leaks are probably gonna pop back up. I'm not sure the exact age of this thing, but it's not a new one. Um, can't tell by that there you go manufacturer 2016 it's not that damn old five years or so uh, maybe the coal is still under warranty so let's get some info and go from there all right I have yet to find a wire diagram on this thing or any kind of manual but I'm cycling off <laughs> I don't know what any of these numbers mean because I'm in Celsius I'm sure everything else is kilograms and whatever so uh, the 35 kilograms of refrigerant is like 77 pounds my set point is one degree Celsius which is like 33.8 um, it's cycling and maintaining right now so we're gonna go down and talk to the customer let them know what's going on uh, I've already got an email sent so we're working on getting a uh, 
getting with the manufacturer and seeing if this coil is under warranty. It's going to be less than five years or right at five years, so it may be under warranty. Uh, so I'm going to button this guy up and uh, get off this roof. We got some rain coming today, and looks like I just beat it. So, so we're maintaining with that stage one right now. Uh, I'll be seeing more of me now that I got a good camera. Sorry, I've been missing for a little while. We've been busy as well, so maybe next time we'll be replacing this condenser. Y'all know what to do. Hit it, leave me a comment. See you guys on the next one.